These deadlines and timelines, they don't really exist. You're never, ever behind in your own journey. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another video. I'm so excited to do this one. I'm just filming in my bed casually without a ring light or anything. I don't even have makeup on because I was just feeling the chill vibes today, like the rawness. I wanted you guys to feel that across the camera. I literally just felt like turning on the camera here to start filming. So this is what we're doing. So this is gonna be on a topic that like I think about a lot and it's like on my mind a lot of the time to be honest and the more I think into it, the more I'm like, what the heck? And the more it gets weirder to me. So I just thought that like, why not have like an open conversation with you guys and talk about it? So we spent the majority of our time and not just the majority of our time, but the majority of our life working for something that is completely meaningless, money. Society invented money, we invented money, but in the grand scheme of things, money isn't actually real. The earth doesn't provide us money. Money doesn't actually grow on trees. It's a man-made thing. We literally spend our whole lives, we go to school for it, go to college for it, for money. We literally spend our whole lives dedicated to making money, which is so crazy if you think about it. Imagine spending eight hours, five days a week, loving and being happy. Imagine that was our currency. To me, sometimes when I think about it, it's like our world is completely upside down and sometimes we're focused on the wrong thing. And there is nothing that we can do to change it. In order to change that, there would literally, the whole world would have to agree to it so there's like individually there's nothing we can individually do to change this but it's important to see that and shift yourself in the right direction it's important to see that money doesn't really exist this is so random like i don't even know if i'm making sense right now but like imagine when there was like no humans on the world like if there's like two humans let's say on the world and the wor whole world was just like forestry beautiful landscapes like everything was in prime condition there was no human destruction imagine people living off the earth and somebody coming up to them and being like, oh yeah, in this many years, you're not gonna be able to like live anywhere you want on the world. Like you have to work to make this money, dedicate your whole life to your job. I don't know, it was just insane. Like how did that even come about? Obviously it came about within the thousands and thousands of years of this world being alive, but it's just mind blowing honestly to me. We are on this planet in, in a floating universe and we worry about money. We're going to a job when we're literally floating in the earth. Is that weird to anybody else? I don't know. I think I think about it a little bit too hard sometimes. Along with money and society and everything, we've created these ideas and standards that you feel the pressure to live up to. And in our society, people think that like, oh, if you don't get this done by a certain age, you're a failure and you're looked down upon. But the thing is, is that there's no way for you to actually fall behind in your own life. Your experience on this earth is unique. Everybody grows at a unique pace. Everybody learns things at different ages. Everyone goes through different experiences at different times, at different ages. So how the hell is it normalized to say that, oh, you have to have your shit together by 25. You have to be married by this age. You have to have a degree by this age. It's like our society has created these time frames, but it fails to see that Everybody is unique and it's impossible, realistically, not looking at society, it's impossible for you to fall behind in your own life. You have to realize that if you're, let's say, 25 years old and you feel like you haven't figured things out yet, you feel behind in your life, 25 is still so young. Let's say your lifespan is like 80 to 100, you still have your literal entire your life ahead of you how are you expected to have everything together at such a young age it is so normal to not have everything together and it's so important to alleviate that pressure off yourself because i hope you know and i hope that you hear this when i say that these deadlines and timelines they don't really exist whatever you feel like doing in each moment whatever you learn from each day that is real and that exists but these expectations of where we're supposed to be at different ages I just don't know how that is so normalized. 
it's like oh when some people finish school if they finish school a bit late they're like oh no now i have to get a full-time job because i'm already behind and now i don't want to travel like i've always wanted to travel and that can get to your head and make you think that you're not young enough to go and travel but in re in reality it's like it's never too late to do anything as long as you're alive and able go do whatever the heck you want go live your life just because society says that you need to be tied down to a full-time job at this certain age doesn't mean you actually have to and doesn't mean that that path is for you you literally can't fall behind in your own journey because it's your own journey it is meant for you you may fall behind in society technically because of the rules and timelines that they put in place so other people may look like you're falling behind but in your own journey in what is meant to be for you you will never be behind that is so important to acknowledge so just imagine like you're the only person on this earth and do your own thing do your journey and obviously we need to make an income and we need to survive we need to eat we need to drink we need shelter therefore we need to work to make that money but i just realized how important it is to be truly passionate and fulfilled with what you're doing for your work because it's not just a job your full-time job is not just a job it's basically your life because if you compare the hours to how many hours per year that you're working versus how many hours you have off, you're probably working a lot more of the time. Therefore, it's not just a job, it's your life. And I don't think people really realize that and um, realize how much a job can consume them and can alter their life in a negative way if they don't like it, if they're not fulfilled with their job. And that's why it is so important to take a risk or to take a chance, even if you're not sure, to do what you love and to do what you're passionate about and to use your skills and do what you love. You should be working for something or doing something that you would do it regardless of the pay. Would you still be doing your job regardless if it paid you or not? And if the answer is yes, then you're obviously truly passionate about what you do and that's so amazing. But if the answer is no, uh, maybe take a step back and realize like, am I doing a job that I'm passionate about? About, or even if you're in school do I see myself doing this for my full-time job in the future because I hate when people say like oh it's just my job like in today's society a job is not just a job like like I just said it's literally your life so it has to be taken seriously it's so normalized that people are doing shit that they hate like that's so normalized that people are getting jobs that they hate like I just can't believe how normalized it is it's crazy this world needs more love and it needs more people helping other people it's like I don't forget the percentage of it but it's like maybe like one percent of the world one percent of the population holds like the all the wealth in the world or something like that which is so crazy and it's like in today's society people are just we get so greedy about money and forget about the real purpose in our lives and i believe that money can bring you temporary happiness i do believe that and it can relieve stress but in the long run i don't think money can make you happy because if you don't feel fulfilled in here no amount of money is going to truly fill that if you guys didn't know i know i talk about this a lot on my channel but just in case you haven't never watched one of my videos before i used to go to college and i went for a year and i did i was taking the nursing prerequisites and the only reason why i was in the nursing prerequisites was because i didn't know what else to do and nursing just seemed like the most attainable thing out there and everyone was just like yeah that's such a good idea it's like looked up upon in society it's and it's definitely a good job but that's when i really started to take into consideration like the life that i was gonna have ahead of me and what that was gonna look like do i really want to do this so i realized that that is not it that's not my passion and i dropped out and it would have been so easy for me just to stay in school like staying in school would have been an easier decision than dropping out because that is what every is telling you to do that is what society is telling you to do so by staying in school you're pleasing everyone i was gonna please everyone make my parents happy quitting was harder because everybody around me 
looked down upon me for doing it, except for a couple people. No one truly understood why I would ever ruin my chances at having an education. And I'm even though I'm so blessed and so fortunate to have that opportunity, I realized that the careers that I was being offered in school just weren't for me. And I needed to take another route. I needed to go down a different path, even though it was really hard to do that and go against society to do what is gonna truly make me happy. It's so worth it for my future because I know myself and if I didn't take that leap of faith, I would have always been thinking about it in my head. Like, what if I did that? Where would I be now if I did that? And it would drive me crazy. So if you're so passionate about something that is gonna make you a living, then do it. Your job is your life. In order to live, you need to make money. Therefore, you're always working. You need to always be working. That's why it's just so important to do something that you love and enjoy. It's like, okay, I could have went and got a degree and went into something that made me unhappy, but that would have been like a for sure safe answer. It would have been like a guaranteed job type of thing, right? Going this route, it's like people from the outside perspective are thinking like, oh, that's like a 50-50 chance, even if that, that that's gonna work out for her. Even though I know that I'm never gonna stop until this works out for me, even if it was just a 50-50 raffle chance, I would still take the chance because I know that ultimately what I'm doing is gonna make me the happiest in my life and the most fulfilled therefore it's not worth any amount of money to trade in for it's not worth any amount of anything to trade in for I would take the chance and it's like that's how you have to look at your life sometimes you just have to put aside your societal views you have to put aside everything that society has taught you you have to make your decisions from within out and truly reflect on what's your purpose in life what lights a fire under your ass what makes you happy doing and take that into consideration and implement that into your everyday life because i feel like so many of us are so far away from our purposes i mean i was far away from my purpose at one point and it didn't feel good i felt lost and i felt not truly alive i felt behind i was giving into society and what their timeline was so at the end of the day we live on this floating earth in the middle of space literally floating earth like it sounds like a joke that i'm saying that but it's like we literally live on a floating earth in the middle of space sometimes we just have to stop taking things too seriously and step take a step back look at your life if society wasn't a thing and if you can just do whatever you wanted to do what would you be doing it's so easy to just be a sheep and follow along with society and what they tell you to do but you have to realize that you have a purpose here you have a unique purpose and sometimes to get to that purpose your soul is going to tell you to do things that society is not going to agree on and sometimes you just have to follow that and follow your intuition so do you really think that the purpose of our lives here is to work and get money or is it to live your most fulfilled life no matter what so anyways that's what i wanted to get across if that even made any sense um i just thought that i would have an open conversation with you guys because i just love talking about random shit and life in general and how things are just weird to me sometimes like just the whole idea of money like i was saying is just so weird to me and how it's normalized to not follow our purposes and how there's like this certain point of our life that we need to be at at every age how is that normalized like it just doesn't make sense so just know that you're never ever behind in your own journey and please never forget that because that's just i feel like such a valuable important piece of information that you should take with you for the rest of your life because it's so easy to feel that way within our society that we're behind in life but can never be behind in your own life anyways that was today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are truly living your best happiest life and i will see you guys in my next video let me know any like topics you want me to talk about down below if you guys have any ideas because i would love to hear them and i also always like want ideas to talk about so let me know any of them any if you guys have them down below and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video I just caught a vibe Simple Brought me back to life Simple I just wanna fly Simple Do the things they lie about <laughs> So I had to take it to my own